So this is our setup. We have the Pocket 2 set up here and we connected it to the Mimo app here. Even though it's uh, overcast, it's not really sunny and it's raining, it's still difficult to see on the little monitor because it's still quite bright. So we're going to use the Mimo app on the phone to be able to get a better image of what we're seeing through the pocket and we're able to control it. So let's take a look at our exposures and shutter speeds and see if we need an ND filter even though it's overcast and raining. So let's get to it. So we're in the same environment. It's cloudy, it's raining, it's very overcast. And right now I'm using the phone and the Mimo app to look at this. We're in auto mode. So we're in auto. We can see here that our shutter is 1250 to get the exposure right. But we're filming in 24 frames per second. So ideally, we and this is fine actually for if you don't have an ND filter with you and there's nothing moving in this scene. There's no boats going by. There's just a couple of ducks. There's nothing too much moving whatsoever. So you can get away with this. So exposure looks good. The histogram looks good. Let's say there were boats going by or people moving or you have people in the scene and you want a nice motion blur. Well, that would mean that our shutter, if we're 24 frames per second, there'd be one over 48 or one over 50. So we know that we can't really do that. So this, if you click on this, which you may know, if we click and lock exposure, it's locked here. Let's move it down, like here. We can adjust exposure and the shutter speed by moving, just dragging our finger up and down to try to lower the shutter speed to around what over 50. Now we can't even get down that low. And you can see by the histogram that we're totally overexposed. Everything is too light. Now with the shutter over one over 400 and our zebras are showing that we're overexposed. So we bring that back down again to a point where the zebras would just go away. And the clouds are okay around here, but we're at 1250. So what, what can we do though, if we wanted that motion blur, that 180 degree shutter rule. So we would click on auto and go to manual. And here we have ISO we want as low as possible because it's a bright day, even though it's raining and overcast. And then we we'll try to get the one over 48. So that's going the wrong way. We're going to go to 1 over 48, 1 over 50, because we're at 24 frames per second. So let's say there were a lot of people in the way, and here we are at 1 over 50. And you can see that with the correct 180 degree shutter rule, we're just totally blown out. Even though it's cloudy and raining, it is overexposed everywhere. So the only way to fix that would to be put on the ND filter to block some of the light coming into this sensor. So let's do that. Okay, so I have an ND32 ND filter. So let's put that on now. And they're magnetic, so they just stick to the front. But here we can see that now we have our shutter speed is 1 over 50. Our ISO is at 100. And our histogram looks fine. So. That's a good setting right there. So even though it's a rainy day or a cloudy day, it's still very bright. And you can see that um, using an ND filter is not only for sunny days, but also for cloudy or bright days. And if I got you, I'm on Thank you.